After apply a base all over your face, you want to apply a lip balm to keep your lips hydrated. If you have red spots on the face like me, you might want to apply a green concealer before putting on foundation. You might be like, huh? Why green? Well, the green shade helps neutralize the redness on the face, so it won't show up in the camera. Use concealer to cover up any dark circles. Time for foundation. Use a foundation that has less SPF because high SPF foundation tends to reflect light. Unless you want to look like a ghost in the picture, avoid using foundation that has higher SPF than 20. Use a powder brush instead of a puff to dust on powder. Again, you don't want your face to look too white in the picture. Prime your eyes using an eye primer. Apply any cream color matte eyeshadow. A shiny face will reflect poorly in camera and you won't look your best. Apply a taupe color. Again, keep it matte. Taupe color eyeshadow looks good with any type of skin tone. Use a fluffy brush to blend out the hard edges. Use a highlighting color to highlight your brow bones. and also at the inner corner as well. Apply a black shadow as a liner. Use a soft hand to apply the color. Also, apply only one third of your lower lash line. Keep it blended and soft. Use a white liner and apply it at the inner corner to brighten up your eyes. Use a liquid liner and apply it over the black shadow liner. Remember to keep it really thin. Mascara is a must in flash photography. Apply as much as you need. But, if you need some help like I do, you might want to apply false eyelashes. Apply any brow gels to set the brows in place. Wait for it to dry before you draw your brows. Fill in your brows with any brow pencil. 
I like to make my brows a little bit thicker than usual, so it will show up better in pictures. Apply demi lashes instead of full set of lashes to keep it natural. Now it's time for a blush. Use a heavier hand to apply your blush because flash photography can take away the intensity of your makeup. Use a sheer cream color to highlight your nose. The highlighting part is the only part where you could use shiny colors because you want the light to reflect a certain part of your face, not everything. Use a nude pink color to apply on your lips. Now we're done with the face. Let's look at the hair. I like to keep mine simple. Start off by grabbing one side of your hair like so. Then, twist it or braid it and pin it up at the back to keep it in place. That's it! Super easy, right? Now let's look at some tips for the earrings. Since you want to focus on your face, you shouldn't be putting on big earrings or it could overpower your face. Dangling earrings can also make your neck look shorter. So you want to go with small, cute kind of earrings? How about one of these? And here's the final look. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Please like subscribe and or comment on my channel and also please like my fan page on Facebook until next time good luck music by Pooh Pooh Pie Boon my little brother Scarlet Latin